Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to Bible Talk from the Green Room. It is Saturday morning and we are looking into our study, Journey of a Lifetime, Journeying Through the Bible. Today we begin the New Testament. Today the study guide just really has a brief description of what the New Testament is. It talks about uh, how there's a 400 year gap between where we just finished in the Old Testament and the New Testament. It goes through here and gives a lot of definitions that I'm going to use as part of Bible trivia at Vacation Bible School coming up in a few weeks. It gives a very good definition of Pharisees, Sadducees, Scribes, Sanhedrin, the Samaritans, and on and on. It goes through and it talks about how the books of the Bible are put together. It says they're written during the last half of the first century. And as the gospel spread and started, they couldn't get to everywhere fast enough. So they wrote it down. And we all know that it was uh, uh, inspired, that it was divinely inspired and, and divine authority was given for those to write these down and put them down. Uh, and so the churches recognized this and accepted this as, as holy and true scripture there. It goes through, it talks about the different uh, writers in the New Testament. There's 27 books, and we have eight different writers there. Uh, the four writers uh, of the Gospels were basically evangelists there. Uh, the first three are synoptic Gospels because they basically had the same information in the same uh, layout there. Um, and then the, the the fourth one there, the, the Gospel of John, is a little different in the way that it's written there. Um, when we go through, it gives a brief breakdown of each of the uh, Gospels there and the writer of the Gospel. Some unique stuff here. Uh, it says, Matthew uh, used more than anyone that the Scripture might be fulfilled. And you could definitely tell that Matthew was written to convince the Jews that Jesus was the Messiah. When you look in Mark, that is the briefest of the four Gospels. And when you look in uh, Luke, it says he has the distinction of being the only Gentile writer in the New Testament. And when you get to John, his book was written much later than the other three. Um, and is concerned with proving Jesus' deity. I really like the chart that is in this one here. If you can see it, uh, it kind of breaks down a diagram of the New Testament there. It goes into the Gospels that there are four. Uh, Acts is a book of history here that was written by Dr. Luke. And then it goes into the epistles here. Uh, 14 were written by Paul. Seven were general. And when you look at Paul's writings there, uh, nine of his writings were written directly to the church. Three were pastoral that were written, uh, two books to Timothy and one to Titus. And then personal Philemon. And then Hebrews has a question mark. There's much debate over whether Paul wrote that or not. Some folks give him credit for it, some don't. And then the book of prophecy at the very end is the book of Revelation. So that's a quick breakdown of what the New Testament studies are going to look like here. We're going to dive into Matthew next week, get into the details of it. Enjoy your weekend. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. Stay focused on mental health awareness. Thanks for tuning in. I love you all. We'll catch you next time.